in this video I am going to show you how to create an Excel Gantt chart for a master plan laying on simple information including the duration, plan start and end dates and how to follow up the progress in just a few seconds by creating a chart for those data contains the work description, the start date and the original duration choose the proper type of graph now we need some modification in the chart setting to get a quick Gantt chart that represents the plan in the shortest possible time after proceed in our next step to learn how to follow up the work progress depending on the data represents the actual status including the actual dates the actual duration and the percentage of completion for each activity those data will be reflected on the Gantt chart to represent the actual and the plan in just a seconds Through the following illustrative example we will explain in details the procedures to prepare a Gantt chart for a project master schedule and how to follow up the project showing the progress reflection on the Gantt chart. In this case, the project execution duration is 12 months. A table will be prepared including the start date, the expected end date, and the original duration for each activity. Beginning of excavation works that begin on the first day and for a period of three weeks, followed by foundation works for a period of two months from the end of the excavation works, followed by the structure works start after finish the foundation works with a period of ten days. Then brickwork begins three months after the start of the concrete structure works and ends after the finish of the concrete structure in a month. Then the finishing work begins after the brickwork start with a period of 15 days and ends after the bookworks end by 25 days. Then the facade work begins after the completion of the concrete structure with a lag 2 weeks after the completion of the concrete structure with 60 days execution period. Finally the site landscape works that begins after the completion of the facade work, a week and for a period of 41 days. Hence we get the master plan to construct the building in the specified period, which is 12 months. First, the column for the start date data will be copied and then pasted so that the formats are modified to numbers instead of a date. Secondly a graph representing the data will be inserted including the description of activity instead of a date. Secondly a graph representing the data will be inserted, including Modify the order of the data to become the start date at the top of the duration period. Erase the color of the start date to show the Gantt chart. Go to the settings to change the direction of the axis by categories in color of the start date to show the Gantt chart. Go to the settings to change the direction of the axis by categories in reverse order so that the date is shown above and the activities are arranged on the left and then.
Now we are ready to follow up the progress. Fill the data for actual dates and the percentage of completion. Copy the row for the excavation activity. Then paste this row down. To make a new row for the actual status. Change the type of this cells to being percentage type. We are ready now to fill cells with the progress data, percentage of completion, actual duration, actual start date, actual finish date. Repeat the same procedures for the next activity. Copy the row for the foundation task. Then paste this row down. We need to rename those activities to show which one represent the plan and which one represent the actual. Fill cells with the progress data, percentage of completion, actual duration, actual start date, actual finish date. Finally we are going to represent the percentage of completion and the actual status of the duration needed to execute the task. We will go to the chart and press on the first bar which is hidden by cancellation the color filling. Add error bar from the chart elements list. Press on error bars to make some modifications in the setting. Modify the error bar color. Modify the error bar width to be visible enough. Go to error amount and specify the value from custom. Choose the column that represent the actual duration. Change the color for the progresses activity to be the same color. This is how you can create Gantt chart in Excel. If you like this video kindly subscribe to our channel to get a notification for the next videos.